Thank you for joining us at FTP Sports Games. This video will introduce you to the Excel helper for Dugout Steps Baseball and the steps you need to go through to prepare the teams uh, to be able to paste into the, the Excel helper for Dugout Steps Baseball and how to prepare, to prepare the ballpark card and do the things necessary to save lineups if you want to and to place those into the helper uh, so that you can play games uh, contained on a laptop, etc and with as small a footprint as possible, making use of the different um, charts, etc., that are all contained within the same Excel file. All right, let's have a look at the uh, Dugout Steps Baseball Excel Helper. When you open the folder, there's going to be two versions. There's a, a helper, and then there's a helper for Open Office. Open Office doesn't support the same macros that normal Excel will, and just the, the, the actual Office version of Excel, and so that that is a little bit different so there's a, another version of it for open office when you click on the helper it'll pop open and you'll see here that it's blank right now these are the lineup positions for each of the players a spot for the pitcher and then also a lineup position number nine for designated hitter lineups that have actual nine batters instead of a pitcher batting uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over uh, each of these sections and then also how you're going to end up pasting the players into here uh, again you paste the pitcher into this section and when you Roll to find out his effect in this, etc. Use these drop-down menus in order to choose uh, what's going on with the pitcher that day, and then you can just delete them. And you'll see here that they're uh, just like you saw in the previous video. When you hit the roll button, it will change over the numbers for the first and the second roll for the uh, pitcher batter interaction, and then also for the play result roll. And then down here, you see all of these buttons. These buttons will transport you. To the different sections in the different charts which are aligned along the bottom here you see them tab but these buttons allow you to move around quickly so if I click the home button um, it's going to take me to the home tab here and then if I click visitor it takes me back to the visiting team uh, when I click game chart it takes you to the main game chart and the quick word here um, if you're keeping track of wind and weather and sky and stuff like that clicking on this little thing here you can choose the wind direction if you want to choose the sky for the day, you simply just slide those up and put those in place and you'll have everything there. Um, ball in play result board left side. And then you'll notice here when you're actually on the tab, it will remove the button that took you there since you don't need to click on it again. And it'll, it'll uh, make the other one next to it wider. So um, ball in play result board right side, then the main chart front, main chart back. The bunt chart front, bunt chart back, and then I went ahead and added also the uh, the key for all of the information on the um, ball and play result boards, and then also the range rings. Those of you who have bought the, the game are familiar with the concept of range rings, and that explains it here. So if you want to go back to the visiting team, you just click visitor, and uh, this setup allows you to maneuver back and forth very quickly, and you will notice as well that when you go to each of the... Of the um, different areas of the charts not only are the buttons there to transport you back and forth but you can roll so if you're on a specific section of the game uh, charts etc etc and you need to make a roll and you just want to stay here and besides they're all linked so it's the same number showing for each one okay and let's have a look at the version for open office you click on the helper open office version and the, it's all the same except you will see here that the buttons are not there and that's because Open Office and some of the early versions for Mac do not support uh, macro buttons like that. So to move back and forth, you just have to click the tabs and, it, and then it will take you there. Everything else is exactly the same. All right. And uh, to cycle the numbers, uh, you just click the F9 button. F9 will uh, randomize and rotate those buttons. I cannot do that because that also happens to be the shortcut for stopping the video with the screen capture software I'm using. So I can't do that. So anyways, you just click F9, and that uh, automatically rotates and shuffles and rolls the numbers for you. So this is the open office in the earlier Mac version of the Dugout Steps Excel Helper. All right, the next thing you need to do is to prepare the teams for actual usage in the uh, Dugout Steps Baseball Excel Helper. So let's go ahead and click out of the uh, open office version. And let's open up a sample team. I have Atlanta from 1966. And when you open it, uh, the first thing you need to do, and this is very important in order for things to copy and paste correctly, 
we need to remove the links. Uh, the card creator pastes all the information and links all the information for everything you see on each card, obviously from different formulas and different areas of an Excel spreadsheet. So we need to remove those links in order for it to copy and paste effectively. So what you want to do is click this tab up in the left hand corner and it will select everything on the sheet. Alright, so we're going to click that tab in the upper left hand corner and then you're going to right click, copy, and then right click and you're going to paste with the number one, two, three here and it's just value. So if you don't see a little clipboard like that with the numbers one, two, and three on it, you're just pasting values. So you paste it and then you'll notice that uh, when when you have a look at it, and if I get out of full screen here, you'll see that there aren't any links. It's just numbers at that point. So when we go back to a full screen, uh, everything is ready now to use. And if we go to the pictures tab, we're going to do the same thing. Remember, you're going to click the upper left hand button up there. You're going to right click, copy, and then you're going to right click and then paste the values. And then you're all set. Everything's ready for you to actually move the players around and use them. And you only have to do this one time. So uh, after each time you have a, a team come up on the schedule or you play for the first time with that team, you need to do this process here. And then once that's done, um, just click Save. Uh, you can shortcut it with Control S and it'll save that. And then you're good to go from that point forward. Again, you're simply removing the links. And by doing that, you right click copy and then right click paste values in exactly the same place so that you're not moving anything around. And then you're uh, ready to go. Alright, so once you're done removing the links from the teams, then you're ready to actually paste the players into the uh, helper. And all you're doing is pasting a player in each one of these positions, line up position 1 through 8 or 9 if there's a designated hitter. And at the same time, if you go to the folder, you see the lineup saver, and you can open this up and you can save one for each team. And what this does is this allows you to save a lineup down here up to 10 and you can add more tabs if you want to but it allows you to save different lineups so that all you have to do is just select that actual that whole area copy it and then paste it into the helper that way you can have saved lineups that are easy for you to load etc etc and you're going to end up pasting them here in in the different uh, lineup positions however you want to slot them in the batting order so uh, again you can save it into the lineup uh, saver here so having a look at um, Atlanta, their leadoff hitter, uh, for the most part that season was Felipe Alou. So if we went down here, all you're going to do is copy Alou and then paste them. You can paste them into the leadoff spot there. And if you're going to save a, a lineup, you can click him there and he's good to go. Again, you're not cutting. So he still is on Atlanta's team, uh, main team file. So you're not cutting him or anything like that. You're just pasting him into a spot. And uh, the second position... Matthews, so right here, Eddie Matthews, so let's copy him and put him in those spots. And again, you're going to do this until you fill out the entire lineup. Um, and then if you want to save it at that uh, here on the lineup saver, you just, you just save it as the team name, Atlanta. And then let's see, third spot, Hank Aaron. So let's go back to Atlanta and pull up Hank Aaron. Oops, I might have to slide down a little bit. There he is. Copy, paste him etc etc all right it's as easy as that and so um, if you pinch hit for somebody or if you're gonna sub for somebody it's as easily it's as easy as copying that player and then um, we're here right clicking and it'll just replace them for you and then when it go comes to the pictures uh, you just choose the picture that you're gonna have let's go down here let's say it's Daniel master is gonna start so we copy him and we paste him into the picture spot right there. All right, it lengthens the card a little bit. That has to do with the formatting of the actual cells and the sheet in order for all the information to fit correctly. So you'll see that it's a little bit taller than his actual card would be in a printed version, but it's as easy as that. So you're simply placing the players in the lineup there. And then if you're going to use the lineup saver and you just want to start a game, just copy the lineup, right click, copy. Up here, right click, paste, and voila, they're in place. So that's how you uh, put your lineups together, whether you're, whether you're using the dugout steps uh, Excel helper or you're actually saving them in the lineup saver for you to use in all of your upcoming games after that, which will save a, a ton of time and it'll be, you'll, you'll be up and running in no time if you do it that way. 
All right, the last thing we need to do is get the uh, a ballpark card ready for the home team. And for each team, you want to do this the first time as well. There's a couple of steps involved with it. Um, when you open the ballparks file, they're all listed on the same page. What we're going to do is we're going to take a, a screenshot of this, and that will allow us to size it down and make it to where we can easily cut it and paste it and put it into the file that we want to use it in. So uh, we're going to be working with Atlanta Stadium here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the View tab, and we want to get rid of the grid lines and the headings. This will make it a little bit easier. And then make sure your uh, I, your mouse isn't hovering over the section you're taking the, the screenshot of. Find the print screen button on your computer. It's PRT space SC. That's the abbreviation for it. And then hit that, and it takes a, a picture of your screen. And then you go to any other tab, and then just right click and paste, and it puts it into uh, it pastes a copy of it into that section of your Excel file. The next thing we need to do is crop it down. So in order to crop it, mine, when I crop things, I just double click on it, click the crop tool, and go down, and then grab the little black icon, and then slide it down. All right, do that for the side as well. Scroll down, grab the bottom, move it up, right there. And then grab it from the side over here, right there. And then click off that space, and I have the ballpark card cropped in size. Then I want to right-click on it, go to Format Picture, and then just choose Line Color, Solid Line, and Black is the best by far. Choose that, and then it's cropped, and it's ready to add a photo to it. And now the last thing we're going to do is add a photo, since I'm sure most people are going to want to do this. So we'll add a photo. And uh, for Atlanta Stadium, I already have a photo chosen. And after you choose one, just right-click it, copy image, go back to where you were working, click on a cell, right-click, and then paste it. And it might take just a second here since I'm, I'm running a screen capture file or program at the same time. And then from there, go ahead and place it. And you may want to crop it or whatever. I'm just going to resize it down so it roughly fits into that spot. And then you have a picture of the stadium to go along with it. Now, you can't, if you, if you move the image of the stadium or the picture or whatever, uh, it'll separate the two. Since they're two dis distinct images, the, the next thing we need to do is we need to group them together. So click on one, push the control key and keep it held down, click on the other, and it will highlight both of them. Once you do that, right click and then go to group and then group them and then from that point on when you move it around it takes two images and it turns them into one so now I can just uh, copy that and so the lineup saver for Atlanta the lineup we were working on go to their ballpark tab and then paste it in there and then you've got the uh, ballpark card uh, right there so that you can easily copy it and anytime you're using the Excel helper just go to this section here and place the ballpark in that in that area and you can do it for both spots so that you can easily have it uh, visible and ready in order to see what the hits to outs ranges for that stadium or the outs to hits and all the other information that, that's necessary and you can do that on the game chart section as well anywhere you want to you can just paste that in there really quick and then once you're once you're good to go click full screen again and everything is in a little bit better view and then once again you can roll the numbers there, move around to the different tabs, uh, the different areas of the, of, the, of the charts, going back to the visitor tab, and it allows you to have everything there to play the game. So what you've done is you've, you've placed a lineup there, you have a pitcher, and then again when you go through the process of determining what his effectiveness levels are and his, over, his stuff is and what, you know control or wild or whatever, and then you've moved in the uh, ballpark card uh, with an image on it as well. And all of this does is this allows you to play Dugout Steps Baseball contained within an Excel file. And since all the charts are, are there and visible and stuff for you, you can play the game that way. And then also, obviously, using uh, ball score to score the game, everything is self-contained on the laptop. And you don't have to print the cards or anything like that. You can play this on an airplane, on the road, at a hotel, or whatever. Or if this is just the way that you choose to play it, it still gives you that really... Uh, 
uh, hands-on feel of, uh, of like a, a, an actual cards and dice or cards and back type game. All right, now you're ready to go for using the Dugout Steps Baseball Excel Helper, and you can use it with any of the season sets that you purchase. And again, you follow those simple steps, and it'll get you ready for easy usage with the Dugout Steps Baseball uh, Excel Helper. So thank you again for joining us at FTP Sports Games.